Now, now this is Carl Pilberton show. I, d I don't think we should have our names involved. <laughs> no. It's not fair, is it? And I think we should give Carl the money. I don't want my yeah. name to this. <laughs> it's a Ricky Gervais show. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Something we, we've still got to do. Yeah. Is, uh... He is running the show now. He's doing well, isn't he? Because I've done nothing. I've done nothing towards this. I'm coming out my hangover a little bit, if you're worried. Remember, remember, <laughs> so, go remember, on. Remember last week, we yeah. started a new feature called, yeah. uh... That song's got a good story in it. And, Brilliant. And I love your catchy titles. They're excellent. Right. And the idea was, it was a story in yeah. a song which meant that if it was played on the radio you couldn't just like fade it out because you've got to have the full story. Yeah. Right? Well last week we started the feature with Stevie Wonder, uh, Living for the City. Yeah. Right? But you yeah. played the version where it fades out. Yeah. I didn't know there was more to it. So Steve told me what album it was on. Yeah. I've gone and got it. We've got the second half to that story. Yeah. This week. Yeah. So, you've got half the story, what was it, what had happened is like, <laughs> the lad's living in Mississippi, there's not much going on there. <laughs> Mississippi? <laughs> that, that's uh, someone off Rainbow's mum. Yeah. Um, <laughs> living, what, Mississippi? Yeah. He, his dad's, was his, his mum was a cleaner. Yeah. Trying to get by, they didn't have a great life, but they still looked after the kids and yeah. stuff. There's more to it than that. Have you got it ready? <laughs> There's more to it than okay. that! Yeah, I should hope so! We'll probably do it at about half past three. So look okay. forward to that, the second Still half of that. Stevie Wonder's Living for the City, <laughs> a week later. <laughs> <laughs> I love a show that's carefully planned. <laughs> so, so listen, that, I, I'm, I watched got, the tomato This isn't thing. a show, this isn't a show. This isn't a radio show. <laughs> this is- I don't know what this is. No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> we, we might as well start banging tambourines and uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> this is rubbish, right? <laughs> but why are you like, some people emailed in, <laughs> put him in a wheelie bin, went to Blackpool, <laughs> right? Um, some people emailed in the stories, songs with stories in it. One of them was Babushka and he went, what's that? And I went and asked Katie Bush, I went, what is it? I said, oh, it's about a woman who dresses up as another woman to introduce her husband. He went, they wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Just dismissed it like that. Why do you think it would work? Because you'd, you'd know. I mean, say like, say like, um, right, Suzanne, right, who yeah. I go out with, yeah. right? She can see me from, <laughs> say if I'm coming down the high street, <laughs> Yeah. she knows it's me by the way I walk. <laughs> right. So, just the fact that this woman went and put a wig on, there is no- <laughs> You haven't even heard the song! I know, but you're saying that she put a disguise on and he's yeah. like, oh, I fancy her, and he texts her out and he, he doesn't know it's his missus. It's just- <laughs> You're not, you're not buying it. I mean, I'm, I'm controlling this Where is the flea? Where is the flea with your brain going to Glasgow? Perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm eating. Hey? I'm eating. So am I. Carl, you have to carry on. Um. Right, yeah. <laughs> we're all eating. Oh, crisps. Food crisps. Mm. <laughs> so right. last week, yeah, <clears throat> you were playing your feature, um, that song I shouldn't switch off because I'm enjoying the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, we played Living for the City, only you played the single mix, which yeah. doesn't have the entire second act, if yeah. you will. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> Carl, you've not heard it before. I've you're never excited. Heard it before. You're excited um, to hear the second act, because as far as you're aware, there was a young guy, he's living with his family, they're fairly impoverished in Mississippi, but, you know, they're happy, they're getting on all right. Mm. But you're not even aware that he's, he's moving to the big city. No, it just fades out. Well, I that's I've, the I've, city in question. I mean, I've liked this song for, must be, you know, three or four years, mm. and I've always listened to the single version. I had no idea that I didn't know the full story. So, um... Yeah. It's not, I mean, it, I mean, and I know you, your, your attention to detail, you like to know the full story, like, where everything well, was. Well, the whole idea of the feature is to say, yeah. you know, you've got to listen yeah. where to the, the song. Where was the lead plate thing? Where was the lead plate thing? Where was the lead plate thing? That was, like, a few, few years where? back. In, where? Was in, it? Where was in it? In Britain, in Scotland. Yeah. It was a problem all over the world. They had to deal with it. <laughs> You're making it up now. Is it so, something you saw in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, so the lion so and the witch. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Go on. So far, then, what what do we what did we learn in this story? From we Stevie learned so Wonder? far from Stevie that there's a young lad. He's as I say, he's, he's got a family. He's fairly happy, except they're very poor and they struggle to get by. But they're happy. And they're doing it anyway. He's moving to the big city. Mm. Carl, this is the bit you didn't realise. Just play the track. Right. So so. So what's your take on it, Carl? After hearing that, what I've worked out by it, the first part that we heard last week, uh, everything's alright, but it's not that great living in Mississippi, right? So he goes, oh, I'm gonna go to New York, there's plenty of work there, yeah. they'll, they'll sort of accept me as, you know, and everything. So he goes there, and, uh, the weird thing is, he's hardly, like, been in New York for a second, <laughs> he gets on a bus, all of a sudden some cop is arresting him, 
he's like, what's going on? And then he's got ten years. I mean, didn't- what you can't hear, cause the levels are quite bad, I mean I work with sound, <laughs> I can't really hear what's going on. You're criticising Stevie Wonder, I'm sort Wonder, of there. guessing that he didn't pay his bus fare or something. <laughs> and, uh, ten years. <laughs> he got ten years for that. I, d I really don't know what was going on. Right. Oh. But you're not happy because obviously it's quite dangerous. Do, do you think Stevie Wonder left out some vital ingredients in the story in your, in your education? Like where it was or <laughs> at least he got where it was. You can tell what year it is. It's uh, right in the mid 70s there, that funky, that funky New York 70s sound. Alright. Yeah. You're pretty disappointed, aren't you? You're pretty what, worried. So what went on? Yeah. What you happened? know, well, you know, you're aware, Carl, that that, because that shows quite a bad image of New York, it's quite an intolerant city, by all accounts, they arrested a guy. But it is quite seemingly bad, for being black. that's, that's one song where you shouldn't go to New York, killing a Georgie Rod Stewart, that lad, he was doing alright in Scotland and said, I'm gonna go to the big city, he got done in. Yeah. Seems to me it's that you don't go there if you've- if you've got, like, problems, don't think New York's the answer. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you saying? That if you're- if you're a bit fed up with your life, but you got, you know, you live with your mum and she's, like, really nice and you got friends yeah. and life's not that bad, yeah. don't- don't- don't go and have- don't go and be murdered or what? What are you saying? Don't go and be murdered? Well, don't go and- leave, what, 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 go on. Leave home, but don't go to New York. Right. There's mm -hmm. other places. Where would you go? Sheffield? Well, don't know, but yeah. But so you, you're a little, you're a little mank lad, weren't you? You're in, the, you're in your garden. We had your train set. Your brother blew up. There was a horse next door, and you thought, oh, I want to go to London. So, do you know what I mean? You've so, you're 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 like that. Yeah, but you're you're all, in many ways like the fella yeah, in that song, and like and like um, Georgie. No, because in many I, in many ways you are a bit like Georgie, aren't you? I had a car, so no, are you a little bit like Georgie in many no, ways? I didn't what? get on a bus. I had a car, so I wasn't going to have the problem he had for a start. Right, but I mean, this, I suppose there's loads of things you can look at that story and take out of it. That's what I like about the feature, right? <laughs> what? So that's what you like about the feature. <laughs>